a big thing that I feel like I've learned from YouTube is just constant communication and just talking it out because a lot of problems can be even prevented by just having a conversation. It just starts with a calm tone. I think that's an important thing that people have to remember as well. Hello everyone out there. Once again, this is Coach Chico. I'm Coach Mary Ann Peña. Welcome to another episode. Happy spouse, happy house. And then now we'll be having also, she's the sister of uh, Janelle, yung sa last interview. And her name is Pretty Janice. Uh -huh. okay? Don't forget the pretty. So everyone, please welcome Janice Solier. Mm -hmm. Janice, Hi, hello. Janice. Hello. First of all, how's everyone there? Family, your friends? Yeah. How's the weather now? Actually, it's been very hot. We had a heat wave this last week. It was pretty much 95 degrees and up every day. So almost 50 or maybe like 40 something degrees Celsius about that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's been very hot. And today it was hot but gloomy. In yeah. some places in America. Mm -hmm. When they say it's hot, it's, it's really, really hot. hot. Briefly describe how long have you been uh, living in America? At the same time, general background, what do you do for work? been living in America for almost 25 years since birth. It's almost 25 years because it's my it's my birthday soon. I've lived here all my life, born and raised in Southern California. I'm in marketing for a engineering firm. That's what I do full time. Her age that she is where she is at this time mm. and we know that she's doing well mm. also being a blessing not mm. only to her company but even to the family. Yeah. And then now speaking of family, you're enjoying your single life. How is Janice at this time? being a single woman. I mean, I like it. It's fun because I only have to take care of myself. You know, I can do whatever I want. I don't have to. I mean, I wouldn't even ask permission even if I was with someone or married. I can just hang out with whoever I want. Like my friends, they just want to go out. I can go out. I don't have to like say, oh, um, minus my mom, of course. I have to say, <laughs> I have to paalam first, mm -hmm. but it's fun. What's it like growing up in a Filipino family? but there in uh, in America. In childhood, I didn't know anything else, so I just thought it was normal. But growing up, I, I see like my other friends from different cultures and we have a lot of similarities and a lot of differences as well. Something that instilled in my brain from young until now is like, family oriented like families first type of thing family around all the time like even when family would visit they would always stay at our house and stuff like that i just love having family around mm -hmm. she said earlier when she goes out you know she still makes palam sa mom niya, di ba? Is this something that you, parang, why is it that you still have to make paalam uh, even though you're um, 25? Yeah, just, just you know, for safety so that she knows at least where I am and then, like, if she has to reach me somewhere and get a hold of me, at least she, like, at least knows where I am, the general area of where I am. Any Filipino culture regarding disciplining or, you know, tradition that you still value even at this time living in America? You no, know, I feel like it's always just, like, keep family first and no matter what like you'll always have each other's backs i feel like that's really important and that is something that i see with like some of my non-filipino friends but i loved it and i think they loved it too oh like you're always with your family and i'm like well yeah and they don't they some people ask like oh well isn't it like a lot or, like a lot on your plate but i was like honestly no like i like being with them and when i'm going to see them like you know every day something that i really minded at all because mm. i love being with you guys we believe that it really depends on the person mm. you know, how you were brought up as yeah, well upbringing. and then here you know the love for family mm -mm. so janice of course you're looking forward to having your own family as well like your ate right if this has not yet crossed your mind you know pero how are you preparing for the next yeah having your own season, family yeah, your how own family. are you preparing now I guess being more picky in a partner, like not just seeing whoever now, it's like I have more standards than before type of thing and not giving people that I don't want, like I don't have any interest in, like I don't even give them, like in an, in the most respectful way possible. Like if I don't consider myself like with them in the long term, I wouldn't. So are you saying that still the Filipino culture in you and the family um, traits is very ingrained even in thinking about having a family in the future? Is that right? Yeah. Chakat. 
25, di ba? You don't have to rush. Majority at the age of 18, they go out of their parents' home whether, you know, they can uh, afford it or not. But see, because of culture, right. it's not an issue, right? Right. I mean, also, um, it's really popular, I guess, for people in my generation now um, to still be living at home. I feel like it was very common like 20 something years ago to really move out and like have a family right away right after people pretty much graduated college have a family mm -hmm. right away. And you really don't see that now. I don't know if it's because people are more focused on their careers now right? or they just don't want to settle down right away, which is fine too, you know. People are taking their time to like do whatever they want, you know, because when you have kids and have a family, you can't be traveling, you know, every month. People my age in their careers they're prioritizing self like tra they're traveling whether it's with their friends their family or like there's a other or even by themselves I have some friends that take solo trips to Europe by themselves they'll just leave for like two three weeks now people are just prioritizing themselves I like that word prioritizing it's not that because some singles if you'll agree with me they think that when they get married it's gonna be totally zero the things that you wanted to do when you were single I really like that word the priority now changes you can still do those things to consider because you already have a family right so it's prioritizing yeah. I think People have become wiser now, mm, diba? Because Which is good. Let's move to finances, Janice. You know, as a single person, how do you manage your finance at this time? For me, I have a savings account that I cannot take money out of, at least right away. Like, I could because it's a totally different bank than my main bank. And I feel like that's a good way to have it because I can't touch it and I can't. I mean, I can touch it, but it's not like a immediate transfer we're all family here so we have all have shopping addiction i feel like that's a good way just to keep my money that i want to save in a completely different account so that i have my money that i have to use for like whatever bills i have to pay for that i have that month and i have some money that i have for leisure also my mom gives me money to put away for our rent every month so that's another thing that i have to take an account for so yeah i i feel like i am nice. a lot more organized with my money now than before Learn from her as well. Mm. Now, work hard, work smart, also gain wisdom, save, mm -mm. dahil kailangan natin yan for the future. Lalong lalo na, di ba, kung depende in our economy as well, mm. di natin masabi. Right. I think it's also discipline, no, Janice? We're able to discipline yourself regardless the temptation of, you know, the things that you want and the things that you want to purchase or places you want to go. Mm. And you know already the limit, of the amount that you want to spend. So good mm. job, Janice, oh. good job. Can you also encourage? Yeah, the singles out there, mm. all over the world. How did you what, learn that? Yeah, what oh. motivated you? Really fix yourself up. With me, it's like, I just want to look pretty for myself. Like, you know, like if I envision myself from my head, I have makeup on, right? You know, and it's not even like, I think I look ugly without makeup. It's not even that. No. It's just that like, personally, I feel more awake with makeup. I just practice, enhances uh, right. my natural already but you're really beautiful inside and out so it shows uh -huh, out thank you to all the singles especially practice makes permanent fix yourself and then people around you will be blessed as well yeah having the beautiful person in you mm -hmm. and how can you keep the family relationships stronger a big thing that i feel like i've learned from youtube is just constant communication and just talking it out because a lot of problems can be even prevented by just having a conversation squash whatever issues you have with one another because usually it just starts with a calm tone i think that's an important thing that people have to remember as well mm -hmm.